Hello and welcome to More Than Organized Monday. I'm Miriam and today we're going to be talking about searching versus using folders. And I apologize for this glare on my glasses today. I'm not sure what's going on with my lighting, but um, I also am having eye issues. So I can't quite see without them today. Um, all right. So, you know, a lot of people want to make it easier by not actually putting their information into folders and then just search. And it seems okay when it's online or, you know, on your computer. And yet, if you think about it in terms of what does that do when it's the actual physical pieces of paper, what, what does that do to your time and your productivity when you have to search around your office, right? It's the same thing in the online um, digital realm. It's still searching through piles of stuff. And so sometimes when you search, um, it becomes problematic. But basically, we're going to explore a little bit the difference between using search and using folders, right? So it's really about what finding the information when you need it. And searching while it seems easy enough um it it isn't always and folders and some sort of filing hierarchy seems harder it all around it seems harder and yet i think both ways have a purpose and both ways are served better with a little bit of structure involved so think through because keeping in mind that the end goal is really to find the information when you need it can make all the difference of which way you're going to go and how you set up those structures. So when you search for something, it requires you to remember a little bit of information about that thing. You need to recall what you called that thing, where, about what date it was on, who it was from, where it came from, where you put it last, where you last saw it, how you were going to use it. All those things um, are, are part of what you would search. And then it can also be based on your style. Um, I watched my web designer search in recents and then search in tabs and then search in, in spotlight and then search in, in her file structure. And then she found the thing she was looking for. And that's what happens. Are you... Um, accessing the right place you're searching in the first place and is the place your your search parameters are they bringing up too many results sometimes uh the key word you remember is tied to so many things you process regularly that the search results are long hundreds if i type in clutter my search results come up with thousands of things if i type in something around um, how to declutter your bathroom, I get fewer results. But it also depends on how much backup you have. Do you have redundancies built in already? So I have my Dropbox mirrored on my hard drive and I have my external drive set up as a backup. And sometimes those they're all plugged in. And so you search and it gives you all three results and you can't, it's hard to figure out which one you need to access and making sure there's versions and things like that. So just know that on the surface, typing some things into search seems like it's just going to pop up instantly the result you're looking for. It doesn't always. And when it doesn't always, it becomes harder to stay convinced that searching is giving you the results you really wanted. So just keep that in mind. There's that subconscious thing of, but is this the thing I was really looking for? I thought there was another version of it those little arguments in your own mind can cause you to not really trust it. So then you start putting things in the wrong places. Um, but it also requires you to not think about where you're putting this stuff. When you're hitting save, you're just hitting save and it's going somewhere, but you don't really know where that is. And then you're just relying on the search parameters to pull it up. Sometimes it's better than others when you use that approach. Um, and I love the idea of that approach. Just doesn't always work as quickly or as thoroughly as you might want it. Um, so the other way is using folders and setting up a little bit of a hierarchy in terms of the folders. And the added benefit of using some sort of folders 
is that it allows you to process the information on both ends. You have to think through where you're going to put it and why you're putting it there and thinking through whether it's worth saving in the first place. And it turns out that I'm a faster navigator. I, I'm faster at navigating to that place. I know I left the information because I set up the structure and is based on the way I think um, to find that information than it is when I search most of the time. Um, and the other fascinating thing about this is it allows me to keep relevant documents next to each other. So if I'm working on a project, I may need five or six different things that have different titles and different things, and I don't have to search five times. I open that folder, and then there's all the information I need within one click. So that's the other reason I highly recommend using at least some folders and structure in your um, work because you want to be able to find the things together. And it allows you to separate them back into their original homes in your archive when you're done with that particular project, right? So working on the website, I've pulled photos together. I've pulled graphics together. I've pulled copy together. I've pulled work from three different assistants together to help figure out where the right, um, you know, have all the information in one place. So we all have access to it easily when we need it. Um, I also really like folder structures that help you create um, some sort of structure in your day. So I have, for instance, in my inbox, I have things to pay, things to read, um, things that are upcoming. So like calendar notices and invites or schedules for various classes and courses I'm taking and upcoming appointment details are all in one folder. And then once a week, I just clear that folder out, like which upcoming things happen this week and they get to go. So it's always just the upcoming things. Um, the bills to pay uh, is also where I keep waiting for um, things I've ordered and any login credentials for um, financial websites and, and things that I need to track. But it's all in the one place. It all has to do with my money stuff. And then I have, um, I just use the archive for the other stuff that I can search, like client name or assistant name, so I know what those things are. But occasionally, in the Dropbox, I have to pull stuff together from various spots. So just make um, know that the beauty of folders too is they can the structure can expand and contract based on your needs, right? But basically, I have the five different kinds of folders or places for information to go that I have in my physical world mirrored in my digital world. So the inbox has a to enter, a to read, to archive, and to trash area in um, in it, and then just the two or three other folders for constant ongoing processing uh, to make it easier. Um, what else? I think that's it. You just need some minimal categories to start, expand and contract as needed, and put like information together, the stuff you need together. And that way you'll be able to find the information you need right when you need it. Um, and it, it's a bit of trial and error, I will say. But there are some basic file structures um, that you can find in uh, the One Minute Mail Solution Kit. We'll get you started for that. Okay, I will see you next week. And in the meantime, don't forget to follow, like, subscribe, turn on your notifications, and tell all your friends because it's more fun to do these things together. Have a delightful day.